Hi everyone, I'm Kendra and this summer we are getting kids outside. Today we are going to be talking all about shadows. To make a shadow, all you need is a light source and a solid object to block that light. When you go outside, the light source is, as you guessed it, the sun. We're going to notice in this activity that the sun, our light source, moves throughout the day. Now, of course, the sun isn't actually moving, but that's a whole other topic. I've actually linked a couple of really great videos that talk all about the Earth's orbit and that whole process in case that is age appropriate for you. Uh, but for now, we'll just say the sun is moving across the sky and that's going to be very important for our activity today. So let's this weekend get outside in the sun and see how those shadows change throughout the day. The first step in this activity is getting your materials ready. The main material that you are going to need is sidewalk chalk. Now, if you don't have sidewalk chalk, that's okay. You could instead just use a camera to take pictures to document how the shadows are changing throughout the day. And if you'd like to grab your nature journal to record some observations, as always, you can go over to the nature journal video and get that nature journal template totally free. You can just download it right from there. The second step is deciding where you're going to do the activity. Now, I find that it's best to do it on a solid surface, like a sidewalk, a driveway, any sort of hard surface. Just make sure that it's safely away from the cars. Step three is to record your first observation. Okay, so this is 7 a.m. I also recommend writing down right on the ground what time you recorded that shadow. Once you have outlined your shadow, pull out your nature journal and make some more observations. How long is it? What direction is it pointing? Once a few hours have passed, then go back to that same spot. Now we chose to use a different color of sidewalk chalk for our second shadow tracing, but if you only have one color, that's okay too. Stand in the exact same spot that you did before and trace your shadow. Then pull out your journal and record what you notice. How has the shadow changed? Go ahead and repeat those steps as many times and as often as you want throughout the day. At the end of the day, have a conversation. What did you notice? How did the shadow change? And why is that? Why does the shadow change? And that's where those other resources that I have linked below might help. After dinner, you might want to watch a little video all about the sun and the Earth's orbit and how that influences the shadows that we see. I hope you have fun doing this activity this weekend. Next week, we have another activity lined up. Now remember, this is just a small local project, so if you want to join us every week with a different activity idea to do outside, make sure that you do subscribe. If you try searching my name um, in Google or on YouTube, you're probably not gonna find the video. So you need to make sure that you subscribe and also hit the little bell notification so that it'll let you know every time a new activity is posted. Have fun. Oh gosh, let's go see what happened. Let's see if our drawing's still there. Let's go see if there's even a shadow. It ended up raining. Is it raining right now? Oh no, it's raining. Okay, 
Okay, let's see. Is it her shadow? No. Why not? Because it's, it's not sunny enough. Oh no! Do you feel the rain? <laughs> Wait, why isn't? Why do you need the sun for a shadow? Why not? You have to have light. 